Now this here is why thistle. Can give you the runs, you know. And I made up a song for it, uh, quite a catchy tune. White thistle, white thistle, all in a row. In never winter woods, they all grow. Oh, well met. Sorry, didn't even see you standing there. Thought you might be a Wendus Naven at first, but I can see you. <laughs> so I guess that discounts that. Well, I don't really know. And by that, I mean, yes, I just didn't have my head on traveling, so it'll take me a few moments to remember where I am and where the well of owls is. Oh, but I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Grabda Gnome Hands. Probably guessing where that last name comes from, don't you? Well, tends to confuse most people. Quite a collector and maker and teller of tales I am. All the Gnome Hands are, except the ones they hanged in Luskin. Working on quite a tale myself, you know, and the act of composing, it is a tale in itself. Oh, yes! You see, it all starts with the tune. Say, about that bush, or that root, or that cloud, or that boot. And then, after I had welded the spring-mounted mechanical shield on my card piece, I fired it, only to be thrown back almost 30 yards right into a wall. Stung quite a bit. I'll say that much, but what I learned was, was... I say, all that discussion has really built up a hunger. Lost all track of time. Oh, you were listening so intently you closed your eyes and laid down for a bit. Made some funny laughing noises at the right times, too. Almost thought you were snoring. No trouble, don't blame you. I barely notice the world around me once I conjure up a story. So if closing your eyes helps you concentrate, by all means. I knew this mage once who... Ah... Now there's a tale. I was walking bow-legged for a week, and it just so happens that I fixed myself up with a bellows from a... a... But we can talk about it on the way. Excellent! Oh, you won't regret this. I mean, too many times. I want those walls up by evening, no excuses. The orcs aren't going to stop attacking just because we need to catch our breath. But sir, the men are having a hard time finding the materials we need. You're telling me they can't find any stones? We're in the middle of the blasted mountains. Unless you'd like to report to Nasher that we're overrun because we couldn't find rocks, I suggest you drive some sense into your men and get that wall built. Yes, sir. I'll see to it, sir. I tell you, I've lost years off my life trying to get this rattle fit for service. And who are you supposed to be? Reinforcements? 
That would be me. Let me tell you, leading these farmers is a mixed blessing. They've got a ways to go. I'm Colum. Commander Colum to you. Lord Nash has sent me here to secure the old owl well. So what are you doing here? Isani? He hasn't arrived yet. Should have been here a ten day ago. I've sent a scout to look for him. Wait, you're the one from the City Watch, aren't you? I got word yesterday you'd be making a visit. I'd hoped to have better news for you. No, my scout hasn't reported back yet. Though I expect him soon. He's one of the best. We're still not sure ourselves, really. The information I have is vague, at best. This route makes the best sense, though. It's one of the few they haven't tried yet. Not exactly a student of history, are you? The Old Owl Well is the only known water source for three days in any direction. Neverwinter and the Orcs have been fighting over it as long as anyone can remember. The Orcs held it for the last ten years until the Council decided they wanted to reopen the trade route to Yarta. To do that, we need to take back this watering hole. This assault has been planned for months. We weren't able to warn Asani ahead of time, though. We weren't expecting to be needing a new emissary, to be honest. Still, at least we'll be here to offer more protection. Well, that brings us back to the emissary, doesn't it? If the Lord's Alliance could communicate, you're right. We'd have more men. But with the emissaries being lost, even so, we've stretched the army thin as it is. I brought along every man that Lord Nasha could spare. The Council's going to have to raise a new army in a hurry if things don't work out here. Marshal Cormac still has a talent for recruiting good people, I see. Duty first, eh? I'll expect you to help out with the defense of this camp. You've already brought your own gear, so just find a spot to call home and stay alert. Sound the alarm! Orcs! The orcs are attacking! Wouldn't you know it, not a moment's rest. Great coats to arms! For Neverwinter! Bolt walk away from this. All right, Grey Cloaks. Everyone back to your posts. Another orc raiding party. We're lucky they haven't attacked in full force. Just wish I could make contact with whoever it is that's been distracting the orcs. Yes. Someone's out there attacking orc patrols, and it's giving us a chance to build up our defenses. I've been at this long enough to know that you need to control a battlefield, and this new ally of ours is something I can't control. He's not one for talking. Every time I send someone out to contact him, he and his men move their camp. The orcs have a name for him, Katalmak. They say he attacks without warning, and without regard for his enemy's numbers. That's not a name orcs give lightly. It's a name they give to warriors who lose themselves in battle. Maybe this Kettlehead person simply lacks basic math skills. You see, if we were to face 300 orcs, the odds, well, if you carry the two, uh, might be... Sounds like someone who wants to die to me. If we weren't here, it'd only be a matter of time before all the tribes in the well hunted down this Katalmach. And then his crusade would be over. Well, enough talk about him. I've got my hands full just keeping the men in fighting shape. Commander! Scout returning! Let's hope he brings word on the emissary, eh? Pathfinder Willem reporting, sir. Willem, did you locate Emissary Asani? No, sir. But I came across his escorts. Killed to the last man, but no sign of the emissary. Orcs, sir. They must have taken him. Sounds like you've got a new assignment. Your job is to escort the emissary to safety. If he's in trouble, you've got to help him. I'd start looking at Yai Sog Bone Nasher's lair, northeast of here. Bone Nashers? They're still around. Oh, they're hard to kill. My, Bone Nasher is an interesting name. I wonder what he would have done to earn it. His tribe isn't the biggest, but he's older and more cunning than most. At the least, he may have an idea who attacked the emissary's guards. 
The Eye Gouger tribe is the strongest, led by Logram Eye Gouger. He keeps the other tribes in line, including the Bone Nashers, and he's the one leading the attacks. All the orcs in the well fall under his banner. Ooh, if we could get lucky and put an arrow through his skull. If we could, the orcs would turn on each other in a heartbeat and give us enough time to strengthen our position here. Trust me, if I knew where Logram could be found, I'd hit him myself. Killing him would be the break we've been looking for. But from what I've heard, there's been reports that this unknown ally of ours, this Katalmach, is hitting Logram hard. Which means he must know where Logram can be found. But since I can't find this unknown ally of ours, Logram's out of our reach as well. For right now, focus on Yaisag Bone Nasher. See what you can do to find the emissary. Besides, if you cross Logram, that might be more than you can handle. Yaisag is old enough to know when to try something other than fighting. Corner him, and you might be able to get him to talk. I'd sooner put an axe in an orc. But he's right. The Bone Nashers, as cowardly and weak as they are, have been known to make deals. I'll have Willem mark the Bone Nasher lair on your map. You'd better act quickly. If the orcs have the emissary, whatever they have planned for him cannot be good. If you need anything, we've got Simi here in camp to help you. She normally trades in trinkets for the men but carry some items more suited for combat as well. Wish I could spare someone, but I need to keep my men together so they can learn how to act as one. Besides, they'd only slow you down. We'll hold down the fort. The more orcs we kill here, the fewer you'll run into out in the mountains. Good luck to you. And if you run into that madman who's attacking the orcs out there, let him know I'd like to have a little chat with him. <laughs>